Seminary life provides no shortage of opportunities for missionary discipleship. One which I experienced not too long ago was the chance to minister to the dying and often to their loved ones at a hospice center. It's one of those things that no classroom can totally prepare you for. But in being present for people during these difficult times, you find the Holy Spirit working through you and bringing people to powerful moments of prayer. And sometimes just by being present, by being there to listen and spend time with people who may not have a whole lot of time left. So having gone to St. John's for four years and now being in my first year here at St. Vincent's, those two seminaries are the only bilingual seminaries in the entire United States. It has been a tremendous blessing attending two bilingual seminaries. And I learned a little bit of Spanish growing up, but I had a long way to go and I still do. And I've experienced just tremendous progress being at both bilingual seminaries, praying in English and Spanish and practicing. And ultimately I'll be able to go to Guatemala someday for Spanish immersion, which will be extremely helpful in reaching the Spanish speaking Christians in our diocese. Fraternity for me is extremely important. I mean, who else better knows you than someone who is walking the same vocation as you. And so in seminary, that's what I've received was being able to, you know, share graces and struggles with my brothers and to know that they're with me and that they're for me and that they under and truly understand me. Priestly fraternity is essential because really we're all sharers in the one priesthood of Jesus Christ. So having that fraternity means a lot. You can inspire each other and maybe hold each other accountable. Thankfully, we've got a great group of priests here in the Diocese of St. Pete. So what I'm most thankful for in seminary is how much I've been able to encounter the Lord and grow in my relationship with Him and encounter His love and His mercy. So for me, that's especially in the Mass, receiving the Lord in the Eucharist. And one thing that they, that the seminary encourages guys to do is pray a holy hour every single day. and. That has been life-changing for me, just spending time with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. And so I'm thankful for seminary formation. Within the priesthood, really what I'm looking forward to is being able to just walk the journey, to listen, to really hear, and to engage with the people, to, to hear their stories, to see where they're coming from, and to be able to be that image of Christ to them and for them. The diocesan priest stands on the front lines of the war for souls, and that's where I want to be. Healing the wounded, dispelling confusion, confronting evil, and equipping our parishioners with what St. Paul calls the sword of the Spirit, giving people that powerful grace that comes through the sacraments of the Church.